So I was having a party and we did not talk about this. My parents are like staying in their room that way like because people will freak out if they see my dad. And they're like, oh my gosh, Benny Vista. <laughs> so I go downstairs. I see my parents talking to the cops. I walk in my room. I'm like opening the door and there's like people to the... Every inch of my room is like filled up. Cops were super cool. And there was a fight was, yeah. real quick because some people came over, some some, some like country kids and they were jokers and dropping the time. dropping the N word. They were they were beating the guys down. We are back. back. Episode fifteen. Golly. That's insane. So crazy. That's like I don't know, there's how many weeks that? That's twelve. That's almost four months. Almost four wow. months. I mean, sixteen. It, just, it feels like we've only been weeks. doing it for like a week. It feels like we just started it. And every week just comes like this. We're now. four months in. Like that's like unbelievable to me. It's hard for me to even like believe that. Four months in. But anyways, this is talking back. Powered by Life Three Sixty. I'm Billy. And I'm Drew. <laughs> We're at, you know, me and Mama go to, uh, we have one of those, I say Mama because you're sitting right next to me. Well, yeah. I call Mama <laughs> if too. Me and Lindsay, for those of you that, uh, most of y'all know, but uh, some of y'all don't. Some of y'all still think I'm that single dad that runs around or hides my wife that Santa. doesn't, <laughs> doesn't I, I won't let allow her to be on camera, which that's so funny to me. So literally, like people and someone my brother was friends with thought that my dad literally just didn't want my... Mom in the videos. My word. Can you and imagine me like, trying yes. to tell yeah. your mom? He lets us be in them and he tells her no. No, he he wish it. He probably, he wants her in them, but she doesn't. So we just respect that. That's it. Right there. Yeah. I wish she'd get in, but she's camera shy. So we get that. Yeah. We get that. That's all right. But so anyways, we get to uh, this place that we love to go to. And it's kind of a uh, wine club that uh, we are members of. And um, we are sitting there as Kenna is trying to sneak out on us. Uh, right, square in the middle Good. of it. Bye, I love you. But Bye, uh, hey, we love you. That's the beauty of doing live podcasts, just right out of the gate. I guess it's not live to y'all, but it's live to us. We film live. So, uh, but uh, anyways, we're sitting there and she comes up to us and we hadn't seen her in. I mean, years before you were born, right? Well, we have seen her since you've been See born. Who? Uh, what you're about to say? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, um, but we see her. We're talking to her. And uh, we're just talking about life, catching up with the kids and everything. And because yep. her kids are about the same age as y'all. And she said, I have the best kids except for one thing that they do. And it drives me crazy. Was it speed? S how did you know so, that? And how did you absolutely like, what, know that? Something like life That's is it? 60. Something. And it's her daughter. Speeding. Well, I mean, I mean, I'm probably, or who is it more? Me or Darian? I, you, you, probably, now. Darian, you know, I, I feel like it. Um, but you've slowed down too, though. Yeah. Um, most definitely. And Kenna better be slowed down because she doesn't even drive yet, so. Yeah. <laughs> October, she'll be 16 in, yeah, like, late. Uh, Less than a week, oh my. right? It's a no, 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 19, 19, two weeks, two weeks. So she'll be 16 in two weeks, but she gets her license in October. But anyways, long story short, uh, speeding. Speeding is her thing. And I'm like, do you have, and she says it, <laughs> Life 360, she goes, thank God I do, because that's the only thing that slows this girl down. And I was gonna I, say, I'm glad I have it too, because it does like hold you accountable. Because if no one's ever, if I know no one's going to see my speed, I'm probably more likely to speed than if I know like it'll say... And that's the one thing. Because that's something that stay safe keeps me in. Like, that's, not that I would fly in speed. But. Right. That's the one thing. We we don't we don't you know that I we don't break each other's privacy. We don't you know track each other. But what we do is we always because even y'all y'all you know Lindsay will tell me hey yeah. saw your speed and it keeps us all accountable because yeah. when I I look down and I see my speedometer now I'm like yeah I don't want them yeah. to get that. You know, I want to see a safe trip. Yeah. End it you want to get a star because if you if you have a good safe trip, you get a star. And if you get a, what does it show you? If you 
It's so shump- something if you like go too fast. If you go, I mean, it, it definitely will. It, it gives you it, something. It, blasts it gives you. you a bad drive. Like you get a star if you complete a safe good drive, and then you get something like a rocket or. Yeah, you're right. You are put on blast, though, to your family. And it's, you know, and it's become, and we have all gotten better from it. And I guarantee yeah. you, we've all become safer because of it. Because, I so, mean, that's not anything that, like, even if you're a kid, you can't really be mad at your parents for caring about your speed. No. Because no. That's the one they thing. They want to keep you safe, and that's not, like... That's it. Yeah. That's it. You can't, you, you, I mean, we can't, be, Yeah. Because if you go out speed, and also if you just, keep doing that, I mean, you're gonna like even if you don't hurt anyone, if you get tickets, your insurance is gonna skyrocket. So it's gonna catch up with you. It's just yeah. gonna catch up with you. Yeah, no I know. Way. I saw like a TikTok of this girl. She was like trying to. She like got a random job at McDonald's because she's trying to pay back this ticket, so her parents don't find out. But like, do you think they'll find out anyway if she's on their insurance? Uh, but I was just wondering, yes. like, no matter what the ticket is, <laughs> like. I, I feel like it. It's going to come out eventually. Yeah. Oh, yeah, when they get that next bill from the insurance. She, like, got a job at McDonald's and the stuff to, like, while she's at college, like, keep it from them. But mm. everyone in the comments like, you just got to tell them because it's going to show on your insurance. But it's going to show. It's going to show. But anyways, all that being said, Life360, Life 360. <laughs> download it. It's yes. free. Best app ever. We love it. Um, like I said, most family-friendly app. This might be one of... My favorite episodes to do. Yes, I know. We're doing like a kind of a part two to last time, last week, but we're answering your guys' questions. Y'all. And that's what I love. I yes. love viewers' questions. Yes. Because you guys, you guys bring it. I love it. Yeah, you do. Every time. So, bring it. so let's dump. Ju- I'll ask dump. you one. Let's jump. And don't dump. To, let's I have jump. a look at my phone, so. Right I in. will ask you one. Okay. This is the one I was interested for you to answer, but. It's how did you get the knowledge you have today? Was it taught from somebody or from experience? Absolutely great question. I get this question a lot. And it was, I mean, there is a whole cast of characters involved in this. Yeah. Um, so I don't, I don't, you know, I get those, the, the trollers and the, you know, the haters. Of They're course. like, where'd you get your degree? Where'd you get your parenting degree? I don't have a degree. Can you believe it? I am straight. Does claim just, to have a degree? But... Nope, nope. These are our opinions and what works for us. But I can tell you right now, respect, love, healthy communication, you can never I go mean, wrong with those. Yeah, because we have proof that, it, I mean, we're growing up, um, me and Darren both growing up. I mean, Kenneth's growing it's like, up. Yeah. Like, we have all great relationships, so I feel like... It's, you, you I don't see know it. what shows more, a degree shows for it, or your kids and their relationship, what shows more. Not saying that, well, obviously, people with a degree. Yes, like, yes. We, you, of, I, but I'm just saying, we like what we're coming from. Like, I don't think anybody took it like that. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, but all that being said, Lindsay, you know, definitely has because y'all were the first kids. Darren was the first kid I'd ever been around. I know we kind of touched on this subject, mm-hmm. uh, you know, in in way episodes earlier because now yeah. we're on we're we're pros now. We're up yeah, fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> Um, but, uh, but no, we, uh, you know, I learned as I, as I went and I just, I knew, I knew very early that I wanted to, you know, I even knew that I wanted to be in shape for you guys. So when y'all were like, you know, trying to, that I could keep up, I could oh, hang yeah. out with y'all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I cared even about my health, not just about my health, but that went so far as, well, if I'm going to, you know, do my health to, you know, I want to stay alive for my kids and see their kids and, and do this, you know, obviously I want a great relationship yeah. the longer we live. So I'm like, how do we do that? How does that happen? And Lindsay guided and molded that so much, so much. That's why both I, of you, not just her though. No, no, no. no. I, she but, but, but she, yeah. you know, she was that instrumental in, in teaching me early on yeah, well, um, in, in the early days. And, you know, it, it leads me to something, you know, she, she asked me, uh, you know, we talk about, you know, spanking your kids and hitting your kids. And we put a video up um, last week about uh, the lady that pops her kid yeah. in the face with something. And it's like, and there's so many people that agree with it. There's so many people that agree that's parenting. You know, that's parenting right there. That's the best mom of the year. That's, you know, that teach that kid respect. Yeah. First of all, what you did right there was you didn't teach that kid respect. Yeah. <laughs> you, the respect is two ways. You, you just, you completely disrespected that kid and you you know, you became that kid's bully 
And anybody can make a kid do something. Anybody. Yeah. You know, an, an adult can make a kid do whatever you want to do. You, know, you can scare a kid to doing pretty yeah. much anything. And that's going to scar that kid. Yeah. And that's just like, why would you want to do it in a scary way and make them scare you? And here's my thing. Here's my thing. So when you, if you're 18 and I legitimately start hitting you, if I hit any adult, I can legitimately go to jail. People, you know what well, I'm saying? If you had a kid, you more likely so, to go, right? But no. not, not in the sense of, you know, well, I was spanking my kid. Oh, really? I but was... they just say that's fine? Like, if they saw that video, they would say that's fine. But if you said that that was someone... But if it was in another situation with someone, like, older... Older? You know, it would be you like could... Domestic violence it would be something. like, right. So how is it... How do we think it... Like, what if your boss at work... Always, you, you know, or came up and just, or girlfriend bam, every time you boyfriend, something. bam, girlfriend. Yeah. I mean, whatever it is, they come up and you don't do right, so I hit you. Yeah. I and hit if you. That's I not am, right. If it's not right for anyone in that position to do it. How is it right for a kid to be hit, to be taught how to do something? Mm -hmm. I just can't get that through my head. I feel like you are, I feel like in my sense, that is lazy parenting. Yeah, because you just want to scare them out of it. You don't want them to... You don't want to actually do the work and yeah, sit down and, and talk like to them. And them how to, like, behave, you know? Yeah. And what kids see, they do. So, I don't know. Like, you hitting them with that, they're like, oh. Because, yeah, and he was making a good point. Like, like I, we really, we've never had, like, a, like a screaming argument. We've never, like, never. lashed out on each other ever. So, when people you say, never. like... When people say they have to do this stuff, though, it's like, they only have to do it because of... How they've raised them. They've raised them to act like that and think that that's okay because they act like it, but then they hit them. So it's like they're just scared not to do it. But if you would have been parenting them from the start, like in a respectful way, they wouldn't be yelling in your face like that in the first place. So many parents have the word respect, teaching my kids respect. They do not, they have that word mixed up. I feel like they like. I feel like they think their kid needs to show respect to everyone, and they show respect to everyone but their kid, I feel like. Exactly. Or I don't know about everyone, but, like, it's just, like, how do you expect respect, but you won't give it? That right there, respect is a two-way street. I say it all the time. So, all that being said, you know, I just, I realized that uh, I just wanted to do the right thing, yeah. and, and I wanted to teach you guys life and and we are and you know it i'll say it you know i am a parent first but we're 100 percent friends yeah i mean we've we've been that way right. and that takes work i tell everybody in my that's that you're not friends with you don't be friends with your kids yeah. you're a parent if but it's like you're missing out on so so much and you're missing out on good honest communication too yeah. from your kid because if i'm scared to death you're gonna hit me i i'm gonna hide as much stuff as i can from i know you. No yeah, way I'm gonna they, come to yeah you. they might act like perfect in front of you but you don't know what they're doing yep yep you don't know them really whenever you treat them like that they don't want to get to know you they want to be away from you and hide their life from you pretty much absolutely great question great question okay what else we Next got one. Well, someone said is being a child hard or does anything make it hard? I feel like whoever asked that was definitely a child once. So I'm like, is being a child hard? I don't really know what they meant by that. I think what was it? Is being a child hard? Or what was the Or does it? anything make it hard? Or does anything make it hard? Um, I feel like everyone's been a kid, but I would say being an actual child. Being a kid? I don't I mean, think it's, I feel like it's only hard if your parents make it hard on you. Yeah, there it is, depending on. not like. I feel like being a kid, like, you just have, like, I wish, like, I don't know, you just have, like, an imagination. Everything's fun. You can go have fun playing with anything, you know? But I feel like as kids are getting older and just, I mean, they want to be on their phones all the time. And maybe that's making it harder. For, I feel like it's not making it harder, but I feel like they're not. Because obviously they're kids, and when their parents just hand them a screen, like, they don't realize it. But it's taken away from so much of their childhood when they want to stay inside and be on a tablet all day instead of playing outside and going to their friends' houses. So much. I mean, I you know, us 80s kids. I mean, I know there's 80s parents that watch. I mean, you know, we had to be home when the lights were on, but we rode our bikes without helmets. Can you believe yeah. it? We well, did all that. We, uh, you know, we could go up and, I mean, it's when you walked in the door. I was going to say, I did that too, though. Yeah. I always would. And literally, I remember, because my friend, we would literally, like, 
she would walk me back and be like, oh, I feel bad that you have to walk back. So I'd go walk her back. And then we'd keep doing that. And one of us would eventually drop each other off. But That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Now they're just already texting. Texting. Yeah. Hey, what's up? What do you, I mean, we actually were in the age of, we, you know, can, can Jimmy come out to play? You know, I mean, we're, yeah. you know, we, we had to walk over and actually ask, hey, you want to come out and I play? I know. And that was like the fun time. We like, drank out of the water hose. Oh, I love, water hose? I, love, I love hose water. Golly, hose water was the best as a kid. Hose so water now? Oh my that gosh, it's so bad. Fun. I was hot the other day when we were riding bikes and the sprinkler going on. And I ah, see? I like it. <laughs> I like it. But yeah, man, it's tough being a kid nowadays. It's yeah, different. No, it, it is, is different. different. It's different. You gotta watch out for everything. I know. But, so, so hang I feel like I got kid. like the last like best like part of childhood because like phones didn't start becoming anything to like the end of mine so like you guys came right in all of my right like time. outside time and then we got to that i feel like i agree i it agree it was like perfect timing okay oh, yeah gosh. that question was i don't even know why i mean that was kind of confusing yeah, but but hey sorry i mean it's confusing to be a kid yeah. nowadays too i mean confusing hard all of it um let's see what what is this what is a moment that makes you think of this Seth? Favorite memories from a situation that was bad in the moment, but now you laugh at it. Because we could probably tell a good story oh, from man. that. Probably so. I know, I'm trying yeah, to think of least. just one, though. I think, didn't we tell the party story on here? No, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that we did. No, I don't think so. That might have been my memory loss again. <laughs> All right. Um, but... The party one, no, we talked about, like, other... Like, I'm telling you, because we talked about Zion flying out. No, and, we did. Oh, Yeah. Talked about Zion flying out and uh, yeah. guarding the door and Jay. Yeah. No. no. Yes. Yeah, all the people that were hiding in your like room. That. No. Wait, did. Oh, yeah. It's on the podcast? It's on the podcast. What? It's on it. I feel like that would have been in one of our little short things. I don't remember. That party was. I mean, let's. I mean, we. Well, can, I. Yeah. Maybe we already did talk about it, but I feel like. Now, there were more parts to the story that we probably left out. Yeah. Um, we uh we left out the the part that's uh um yeah because we've made the point that you know if you're the party host you can't just you we know, did not say that part on it we did not talk about this oh man I'm telling you that's why I didn't know if you wanted if you wanted me to say all that or not oh yeah okay okay we well, let's just tell the party that. story because not everyone's heard it let's do it and I think it's okay so like this was la like a last year probably but towards the beginning of the year. So I was having a party and, or I was going to have a party and I think I was probably supposed to have like 30 people, 20, 20. We were trying to keep it, you know. 20, 30, just because like obviously it's not the best thing. But, um, so we have this, my parents are like staying in their room that way, like, cause people will freak out if they see my dad and like, be like, oh my gosh, Billy Visco. All <laughs> that, so, all so, that. So, so I kind of, so I hide out the room. room. Yeah, just yep. there, like if I need him though. But I decided, I think I went a little too fast that night. So I ended up upstairs sleeping in Kim's bed. So I was already sleeping up here. And then, so everyone was just having a good time downstairs for a while. Like, um, everyone brought me water, made sure I was good. And then I was asleep. So, and they would check on me. But, so then I wake up and I'm like, huh, I forget. Like, I heard a noise or something. So I go downstairs. I see my parents talking to the cops. I walk in my room, I'm like opening the door and there's like people to the, every inch of my room is like filled up. And so I'm like, what it's is insane. going on? And I'm like half, like halfway asleep. But I'm like, well, what is going on? And then eventually like. Cops were super yeah, cool. They were just like, cool, but, like, yeah, they were just because they thought there was a fight at the house and, and there was a was, fight yeah. real quick. Because There's some people came over, some some, some like country kids, and they were jokers and dropping the dropping the n word. Yeah. So and, um, and no one here and puts up with nobody that. put up with that. <laughs> no. And that <laughs> ring doorbell footage so is funny. still phenomenal because people were flying out this door. Just they were Superman and and they were they were beating the guys down, which you know. Rightly, Rightfully so. so. Yeah, was Rightfully so. Yeah. Rightfully so. But our zero like, problems. In patio that. was like torn up from this. Um, but it's just like unfortunate because people would come and like someone stole this baseball that you had, and then that was Darian's yeah, first. Was, uh, they brought it back. Yeah, Darian's but, first strikeout. So luckily they brought it back. We both the things I know like and then like your koozie thing on the door got stolen, and so luckily both of those got brought back. But 
a bunch of people would, like take pictures with like his YouTube plaque and stuff, and it's just funny. But um, but, but also break. they took yeah, that's yeah, what I was gonna say. They took yeah. his anniversary, like they had this custom made like. Lindsay and I have been married 21 years, but yeah. Lindsay had this one made for our 10 year anniversary. Yeah. It was a glass. Um, it was uh, it's uh, it holds your whiskey or your brandy or your you know gin whatever you want to yeah. put in it. Um, holds your stuff, so nice. but it was just a memorable you know it just sat Have there. Their date on it and like a little like infinity sign or something. But we go outside to like clean up because it's a mess, and we find that like shattered on the floor. There's like black marks on the street from people like. Pilling that was the people that they were getting, you know, they're like, uh, we better get yeah, out of here. They're and, fighting, and, so they're yeah, like, yeah. They're like, we're we're getting uh we're getting beat down yeah. right now, so we need to leave in a hurry. So um Yeah, we got home and I was telling them uh well all my at least all my good friends stayed and helped us clean up. Every, yeah, all everybody stayed, helped. I mean it was it was a good that it was, was it, that was, was that line, was really yeah. that was that's the great uh that's a perfect story for that uh question. Yeah. No because more party sent. It was uh it was a wild time, but it's a great memory. <laughs> a great memory, yeah. That we had because we good. sat up we sat up afterwards and we talked till five in the yeah, morning they all did. with those I people just talking stories, not even about, you know, the yeah. party, just we were life. making food and we just all talked and it was a really good night, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm glad that it happened the way Dick and my parents and all of us like cleaned up together and like talked. We had to clean the whole neighborhood. Yeah. So <laughs> clean I mean these people got so mad, yeah, they were throwing stuff all over the neighborhood and it was like really, y'all. But anyways, they got they got. I got served. posted on like the yeah. or we got posted on the neighborhood group chat. But <laughs> I commented and I apologized, and they were all like, "Thank you." And Everybody they, was super everyone cool. Everyone was nice about it, yeah. Neighbors. Because I mean, like I had had like just like two parties before that probably, but both of those were very calm and like good. Oh yeah. And this one, just those people were not invited in there, like going to went crazy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But I feel like that was like our funny story that. No more parties Perfect. now, but it was Perfect. good memories. And no, absolutely. absolutely. And it was a good time to stop having parties because then people started yeah. bringing like guns to parties. It was and perfect, stuff. and that now was, it's yeah. now it's yeah. You can't even party anymore. It's yeah, like yeah. what's wrong with just just hang having out, y'all? Yeah, have fun. Really. Someone said, "How many kids do you have, and how old?" But he has me. I'm 19, and then Kenna's 15, almost 16, in like a few days, and then Darian's gonna be 21 on September 9th. And Darian's a boy, so yeah. Um, because I know that's uh, there's a famous movie um with a uh, Bruce Willis uh Boy Scout, oh, really? the last Boy Scout, and there was a girl in there, and her name was Darian. Oh, really? Yep, yep. So, but Darian was named after Darian Hagen, the quarter quarterback at uh, Colorado University. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah. So random little fun fact. For Just you a guys. fun fact for anybody that wanted to know. And then, let's see, what should I ask you? What is the most best thing about being a parent? Oh, man. All this. I mean, you know, uh, last episode we talked about, you know, going to, you know, my best friend's dad's funeral. And um, that was the best thing about Gary being a dad is is all of that you just you saw it you saw it in the you know in that memorial that they did with the pictures and you just you see the family there and you just that's you know when you guys were born oh my gosh it it's life changing it just um you know I I I know you remember talking about this hopefully on the podcast yeah, is but, whenever I had my first daughter you oh, know yeah, and yeah. then Kenny yeah, comes then along bad, and I'm yeah. like how do I, I love Drew. How am I going to love another girl? And you just, and you do. And it's just like your heart just grows with, you know, it's, yeah. it's, uh, and it expands and having a relationship with them, not just sitting around and yeah. be bossing it because y'all didn't ask to be here. You know, I think that's the number one thing is y'all did not ask to be here. Y'all, y'all weren't, it, you know, we brought y'all here and, the and so blessed you're to here, here. Yeah. and so I want you to be welcomed on earth, basically. You know, God bless me with you guys. Um, and he, he, you know, bless me to be your dad. But at the same time, you know, it's my responsibility to make sure, man, you have a good time, you yeah. know, while you're here. And I, and I mean that in the, I don't mean let's, part, you know, it's not yeah. a friend. That's a, that's like. We we should have fun as a yeah. family, and we should make memories, and we should yeah. I'm going to teach you about life, life yeah. and and what you you know. 
should do and shouldn't do. But, but yeah, no. it's like that's the best thing about being watching y'all do what you love and hanging out with you guys. I mean, it watching shows with you. I mean, yeah, it's no, just so much fun. It, it just is. It's just yeah. you know all those playing shark in the dark. I mean, yes. it, it's there's all just it. all of it. Just being together, being with you guys during COVID. You know, I mean, we talked about that one. Um, a couple and I feel like you back. obviously you go through like every stage of your life like together, so it's just like fun. I feel like, and as you get older, I feel like it only gets more fun. Which that's it, that's yeah. it. And you know, we saw a deal the other day that uh, you know I I I, uh, I said I said basically I mean our our job is to you know when we know we've done good as parents is you know when you don't need us anymore. But you we want to be around. Out. You want to hang around us. Yeah. You know that's I when I know guys, but... I've I've done my job as a parent, and uh, so. But yeah, no, it just makes me happy that we all want to hang out together because it is sad to like see other people's families not want to. Because I couldn't even like imagine that. Like, and I feel like don't base if you had a rough childhood, don't. Don't base having kids on that shot because I know there's so many people who are like, well, I'm not bringing a kid in this world because I, man, change it. You yeah. know, you can change, break you, the cycle. You be the, and, you be the one to break that. And, and like, your kid will also probably like save you in the same way like you saved them, you know, like. No doubts about it. No and make sure you're it. like ready for a kid. Obviously. Yeah, no, no, no. no. I'm not, like, I'm not making, yeah. yeah. No, obviously. But yeah, don't be like scared just because. Yeah. Yeah, because you... Because don't miss out on an opportunity. That yeah. right there. That right there. Love the way you worded that. Yeah. And then, let's see. This one says, how do I tell my parents the truth of something that I've done? What do I start with? I'm trying to think what I would do if what I did What would you do? Bad. And I was like, okay, well, if I did something really bad and I thought they were going to be like upset, I'd probably like... Try to just be really nice <laughs> before I, I'm mean, not, the, I mean, obviously, I would probably. I've always said, set the tone. Like, butter them up a little bit. like <laughs> Choose your timing. Yeah. Choose make your sure, timing. Make sure your room's clean. Make sure all the stuff is done. That way, everything else is good. Besides whatever you're about to tell them. No way. Like, if your dad yeah. comes home at 530 and he's after in a, bad a mood. hard day's yeah. work. And he's like, I don't want to talk right now. And you're like, no, but I need, no. Wait till then. Wait a like, sec. Everybody's in a good mood. Like, make sure that you don't do it at the wrong time and nobody's upset. Once the tone is set, I feel like I would just honestly just be like, I need to talk to you guys about something. Like, I'm not proud of what I did, kind of thing. Like, just let them know, like, you know, you messed up and you're coming to them because you know you need to. And, like, that's all you can do, really. I mean, they're, if your parents are like how most parents are, they're going to be appreciative of you telling the truth. Like, you're still probably going to get punished, but it would have been a lot worse if you're lying. So you here's kind of just have to do it after that. You just got to tell them. And here's what we've always said, yeah. too, is, and you know, it's better that you tell us than we find out. Yeah. Because, it, you know, if we find out, I know you're trying to hide this from me. So that's why they will. Def most parents are usually appreciative of you being honest. and Doesn't mean you still will not get punished, you know, punished. But they will still, like, be proud of you and be proud of the fact that, like, their kid was able to tell them, you know? And that's going to make them feel like, no matter how mad they are, they're still going to be, like, grateful that you told them most of the time. No no doubt about it. Yeah. No doubt Because I know if it. I came to them about something, like, they would be very, like, I need to turn my phone on, do not disturb, sorry. Oh, you're good. He's, like, buttering but it's... over your butt. Yeah. But, yeah, it, it's it's one of those where... gonna suck it's but. it is it's gonna it's but rip the band-aid off yeah. rip the band-aid off at the right time though yep. rip the band-aid off at the right time all right i think we got time for about one no, more okay let's roll in do you remember any that you really like that you wanted to do? um there was one about the uh i think the military so okay, i'm sure yeah. that was uh it was thoughts on forcing a, a child to enlist in the military what do you think well, why? I just know if someone told me, like, you have to be in the military, I'd be like, like, sorry, but I don't know about that one for me, like, because I don't think that that is, I don't think, I mean, I guess there is a bunch, I forget that there's a bunch of jobs in the military that doesn't necessarily yeah. mean, like, you're going to be, like, in the war all the time, like, 
Because I feel like you definitely can't force someone to do that. But I mean, I don't think you should ever force them to. I feel like it should just be part of the, like, what is your plan? Like, do you want to go to college? Do you want to get a job? Do you want to go to the military? Like, we need to figure out something for your future. Like, I feel like if they're living with you and they're not doing anything, like, obviously you have to figure something out, you know, for them to get their future started. So I get, like, saying, like, if you're living with me, like, you need to get a job or you need to go to college or you need to do this, you know, you can't just sit here and do nothing if you're living with me, but I don't really even think that means, like, necessarily, like, you have to go to the military, but... No, and it's it's all about presenting options. Yeah, that's you what know, I'm I don't it's, think it should ever be, like, you have to do this, because that's, like, a big step in someone's life that shouldn't be, like, forced by someone else, I feel like. No, and in the military, I mean, first of all, I salute everybody... Thank you. Thank thank you you. for anybody that served um, for us. Uh, It is so much appreciated. Um, And that being said, it's, uh, you know, all aspects need to be given. You know, all talk about the pros, the cons. There's pros and cons of military. Um, Write them down. Talk about those. But uh, no way do I think uh, a kid should be forced to go and, uh, you know, I don't um, think I enlist in the military. They yeah. just it, it, being forced to do anything, like you said. So say, yeah, I don't think that unless you did something to be in jail, I now I gotta force you to go to jail yeah, because drafted, I'm the cops or then... when, or you get drafted, we have to open up the draft or something <laughs> like that. You gotta go. You yeah. gotta go. Um so that's those are the two uh, you know, if uh if you gotta go to jail, gotta go to jail. If you gotta get drafted, you gotta yeah. get drafted. And if you're living with your parents after you're done with high school, you definitely you got to do something. That's the deal. That's yeah. the deal. I'm, I'm glad that you brought that up because I don't want them to think that, yes. So it's parents, list it out. School, work, military, you know. Trades, well, yeah, trade school, there is, yeah. right, anything. But, and that's the that's the yeah. options. Because you definitely shouldn't just sit at your parents' house and do nothing after no. you're graduated high school and stuff. No, most definitely. I mean, if you guys agree to take a gap, like I took a gap year. I still worked a little bit during that and. We exactly. If you do a gap that. year, if you do a gap year, just make sure there's fair things. Help, yeah. help, around, you know, say, what can I do around this house that is extra, you know, besides keeping my, my area clean? Yeah. Um, what else do I need to do? You know, things like that. So. Not everyone, not everyone's family can even let their kids do that. So be grateful if you can even. If, if that's an option. That. Yeah. Yep. yep. That may not be an option on the book, on the table. So, uh, but have options, parents yeah. have options. Not, you shouldn't not be forced. forced to do something no. because now you might you yeah. might be forced to pick, pick one, one of, of these those, options. Yeah. But that's and, not a mean thing but, if yeah. your parents are doing that yeah. because they you're not gonna get very far in life if you just don't do anything after high school. Most like definitely ever. not. Most definitely not. Man, thank you guys for the yes, questions. That you. was awesome. Those are some of my funnest things yes. to do. Uh, funnest. I always get made fun of because funnest is I not love it, a though. word. I, I, I see you let them say it. How is funnest not a word? Make fun is the word. No, it's funner that we usually say. Funner. Do better. And we'll see y'all episode 16. 16. And have more fun. Or have some fun. Have funner. Funner. There it is. See you guys.